Hi and welcome back. This is a continuation of our Bluetooth uh, setup for our 3D printer uh, hooking up the Bluetooth to the ramps. We're going to go through how to program the HC05 Bluetooth module and hook it up to the computer. Uh, first step here is the module itself. Right here we've got it wired to an FTDI adapter. Uh, we've got positive and negative uh, go to positive and negative. Um, RX goes to TX and TX goes to RX um, on the data signals and then right here what we've got is there's a key pin on the HC05. In order for this to go and stay into programming mode, uh, that key pin has to be positive. So we've jumped the positive uh, power terminal to the key pin, and we're going to leave it that way for the entire programming setup. If you uh, if you power it on with the key up and then disconnect it afterwards, you won't be able to see when you do your AT commands, you'll do AT plus name and it won't return anything and it'll give you errors. Um, if, if you're having problems with that, like it feels like it's halfway in command mode, it responds to some AT commands but not others, chances are your key pin has come undone and it is no longer uh, positive. So. Hardware-wise, that's the only thing you have to pay attention to. Um, I've also seen some of these Bluetooth adapters where the key pin is not hooked up to the actual HC05 chip. Um, and then there's another chip called an HC06 that does not use the key pin that will go into AT mode whenever it's not associated to a device uh, in Bluetooth. So, so depending on what device you have, your particular instructions may be different, but the general gist of things is going to be the same for all of these Bluetooth controllers. Controllers. Okay, you can see here we've got our Bluetooth module plugged into the computer. The slow flashing indicates that we have successfully entered programming mode. So now we're going to go ahead and fire up a terminal and, uh, and configure this device. Now that everything's physically connected, we can attempt to connect to the HC05 through a terminal application. We're going to connect to the COM port, and then we're going to set the baud to 38K, 38400 actually. That matches the command mode of the HC05. Now for the commands to be received correctly, we have to set our character turn and line feed options. And we'll go ahead and set local echo to on so that we can see what we type. Now if I type AT, I receive OK, which means I'm connected. AT plus ORGL resets everything to the factory defaults. AT plus name tells us our, uh, our Bluetooth network name, which we're going to change. I'm just using the equal sign there. And then once we've changed it and received the OK, we can send AT plus name again to make sure that it took. Now we're going to set our baud settings. AT plus UART is the command for that. And we're going to set it to 115200 comma zero comma zero. Now we'll send AT plus UART again to make sure that took. Now we can set our password or PIN. You can set it to whatever you want. Uh, I set mine to 867530, which is the first six digits of the phone number in the song Jenny by Tommy Tutone. Now finally, once all that's done, you can go ahead and set the bind, if you want, to your Bluetooth address of your laptop. Uh, this step is not mandatory, but it does tell the HC05 which Bluetooth connection to prefer. Once all that's done, we're ready to go ahead and uh, open up Arduino and make sure that we have the COM port set correctly in our Marlin firmware. So now we've got the Arduino software open, we're going to go ahead and go to our configuration.h file. And we're going to check and make sure that that port right there, that baud, is set to 115200, the same as our HC05 Bluetooth module. We're also going to make sure that the VT enabled flag below that is set or not, not commented out, so to speak. Now you'll need to go ahead and recompile and reinstall that firmware onto your Arduino and your ramps. Okay, we've got our Bluetooth module plugged into our ramps here, and we've got our 3D printer powered on. Uh, we have not yet paired this to the computer, so we're going to hop back on the computer now that we've got this powered up, and uh, we should be good to go as long as we set the bot correctly and remember our pin. Now that everything's hooked up, we're ready to go ahead and try and find this from our laptop via Bluetooth. 
got everything powered on. We're searching for Bluetooth devices, and you can see we've found our mini console there. We're going to go ahead and connect to it, and it'll ask us for a pin. We're going to use the same pin that we created in the previous step, uh, most of the number from the Tommy Two-Tone song. And we'll click Next. At this point, the computer will install the serial ports that we need. Um, in this case, it's going to be COM9. Now, the last step here is to go ahead and open that serial port that the computer has created and verify that the COM speed is set to the same speed that we've used previously all the way through this 115200. Once that's set, we are pretty much ready to connect via Pronter Face. So we're going to go ahead and open that up. And we're going to make sure when we open it up that we select the same COM port, COM9, that was created when we hooked up to Bluetooth. And we're going to make sure we set 115200 as the speed. You can see there that Bob's your uncle, and we've successfully connected to our 3D printer now.